Hey guys, uh, yeah, I, I just posted a Five Nights at Freddy's tier list, and I just thought, like, you know, might as well make another, because they're kind of fun to make, you know, it's kind of fun to criticize things that other people like. <laughs> okay, but anyway, um, this is the starter Pokemon, more specifically the final evolution, um, you know, because screw babies, am I right? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, the final evolution is the most exciting part in any Pokemon game. You want to get your starter to evolve as soon as you can so you can continue on in your adventure and just kind of beast through every trainer battle. Sorry, that was kind of nerdy. Um, yeah, so we got, you know, the fire, the water, and the grass type starters. So let's start off with the Kanto starters. Because um, Gen 1... <laughs> So, first off, we got Venusaur. Now, I am not a huge fan of Venusaur, though I usually choose the grass type. Um, in the Kanto region, I chose Squirtle, because Blastoise is just awesome. And he's not Charizard. So, I'm going to drop Venusaur in B tier. Um, it's overall a reliable Pokemon, but it's not my favorite. And now, Blastoise. Um, the starter I chose for the Kanto region. Um, so he's not my favorite starter, but he's my favorite from the Kanto Pokemon. Next up, we got Charizard. I don't like Charizard, personally. He's a really good Pokemon, but he's just not my favorite, because he's everyone else's favorite. And I'm a hippie. Uh, sorry, not hippie. Hipster. And I like things that are uh, not cool to other people. So I'm going to put Charizard in C. No, he's good. I'll put him in B. I just don't like Charizard because everyone else likes him. Um, I also just realized that there's a two of uh, the same starters over here. Anyway, Johto. Johto is the second game. Um, so we got Meganium. Meganium is a very, very powerful Pokemon. Um, but, again, it's not the Pokemon I would choose. So I would put Meganium, uh, I'd put Meganium in B tier. Uh, it's powerful. Um, probably not the best choice for that game because there's not a lot of fire types. Which brings me to the next thing, Typhlosion. I love Typhlosion. Typhlosion is awesome. I don't need to say anything more. For Alligator, um, if I'm playing through a Johto game, I would probably choose Typhlosion or Meganium. Probably wouldn't choose for Alligator. Um, though he can learn Ice Fang, which is pretty helpful. Um, so I'd put for Alligator in B tier. We need to, <laughs> we need to find something to actually criticize to put in C and D. So after that is the Hoenn games. Now this is my, probably my favorite region. Probably. Um, so, Oh, we got uh, Sceptile, Blaziken, and Swampert. Let's start with the grass. So we got Sceptile. When I played through Alpha Sapphire, this was my starter. Um, when I played through Emerald, I chose Mudkip. So anyway, Sceptile was pretty good. Um, he has a pretty good uh, move, like range, like with the kinds of moves he can actually learn. So... I don't know. I mean, he's, he's again, a pretty good Pokemon. I would put him in B tier. Blaziken is OP and overrated. Um, fire fighting in a game that's primarily, like, grass, bug, and, like, water. I mean, yes, he's weak to water, but he's crazy powerful. Um, I don't really like Blaziken. So I'm going to put Blaziken in C tier just because I don't like him. Um, but when it comes to power, he would be an S tier, but I'm going to put him in C tier. And then Swampert, everyone likes Swampert, putting Swampert in S tier, just, you know, he's good, really good. Um, after Hoenn is Sinnoh, so, um, that's Torterra, Infernape, and Empoleon. Now, I, I had a, I had an Empoleon in Pokemon X, but I don't remember much about him. I'm pretty sure it's just like basic water moves like water pulse, hydro pump, you know, stuff like that. Like there's nothing really special other than it's the only starter with the steel typing. 
Um, so I don't know. And Polion's not great, but he is good. Not good for the Sinnoh games, though. Um, will help you in the rock type gym. Um, but the second gym's the grass type gym. So you might, you'll, you'll need to train him up a whole lot to get through the game. Uh, and there's not a lot he's super effective against. Uh, cause fairy types didn't exist yet. So I would put him Polion in C tier. Um, he's, he's, he's good, but I don't know. Infernape. Broken. I would put him right next to Infernape. But... It's a Sinnoh game, and you need a fire type. Um, there are other choices uh, in the Hoenn games, so I put Blaziken in C. But I'd put Infernape in B tier, um, just because the only other fire type in the whole game is Rapid Dash. In Diamond and Pearl, it's just Rapid Dash. Um, in Platinum, you can get Magmar, um, and I'm pretty sure a couple other things. Um, and then Torterra. Um, Torterra is just kind of a basic grass type attacker, but he learns Earthquake, which is really, really, really useful in Sinnoh games. Um, very, very bulky. Now, just because I chose Torterra in Pokemon Diamond, I'm putting you in A tier. Um, after Sinnoh, Sinnoh is Unova. Now, when I played through, okay, when I played through Black the first time, I chose Oshawott, because I thought he was cute, and then he turned into this beast, and he looks awesome. Samurott looks awesome. Putting Samurott in S tier. When I went through playing uh, Black again, I chose Snivy. Uh, so Superior, eh, Superior's okay. Um, really basic grass moves, like Leaf Blade, and Grass Knot, and Leech Seed, and Mega Drain. There's nothing too special. It's just, I don't know, it's just moves, just grass type moves. Um, but Superior's okay. I, I'd put it next to Empoleon. And then we have Embor. Now, I've never had an Embor in any Pokemon game ever. So I have no idea how he works. But um, we'll just go off of design. So I don't like Embor. I like Tepig a lot more. But I don't like Pignite or Embor. Honestly, the design is just kind of ugly to me. Um, I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I don't I don't like I don't like Embor. Um, so this brings us to the next region, Kalos. Um, so that's Chestnut, Delphox, and Greninja. I hate Greninja. I'm sorry. I really don't like Greninja. Um. I've had a few Greninjas, but I I just don't like Greninja. I'm sorry. Uh, D tier for Greninja. Then we got Delphox. Now, I really like Delphox. The design is neat. Uh, it's different. Um, the attacks, like the move pool is very cool because it's a fire psychic type. And I don't think those existed beforehand. I can't think of any fire psychic types. So... Just because it's pretty interesting, I'm going to put Delphox in B tier. Now, Chestnut is awesome, but Chestnut has a very limited move pool. It doesn't learn a fighting type move to, like, close to level 50, and it's a grass fighting type. Like, it doesn't learn Hammer Arm until you're at the Elite Four. Um, that is when Hammer Arm proves to be the most useful, because uh, there is the Steel type Elite Four member. But come on. Uh, so I'm going to put you in C tier. Uh, you're worse than Delphox. So um, now the last region that we have listed here. There is another region after this. But just I, I didn't get the right one. I didn't, get, I didn't choose the right tier list. Um, so we're going to start with grass. We got Decidueye. A grass ghost type. He's an owl who fires arrows from his wings. Using his wings like a bow. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, wow, this is hard. Um, so, very good special attack. Very good special attack. Very reliable, too. Um, in online battles, he was pretty good. In just playing the game's story, he was pretty good. Um, I don't know, he's got a cool design. 
So I'm gonna drop you in A tier. Now, Primarina um, never chose Poplio in any any in Sun and Moon. I did not choose Poplio. I refuse. Um, Water Fairy is a pretty good typing because there's not a whole lot of fairy types that exist. It was just invented in the region beforehand, so there's only like 12 different Pokemon you gotta that had like the fairy typing and there were only like five or six of them in the whole entire like sun and moon game so prime arena is good but i don't like it <laughs> and now we have incineroar incineroar is a pretty pretty good guy he was my main in smash for a while and just because of that i gotta put him in s tier and yeah i'll just just put these guys <laughs> next to their twin um so this is what we have in s tier we have swamp root samurai uh and incineroar a tier we have blastoise typhlosion torterra and decidueye b tier is venusaur charizard meganium for alligator septile infernape and delphox c tier is blaziken and polyon superior chestnut d tier is embor uh greninja and primarina <laughs> if this makes you upset i'm sorry um, but this is, this is just how I see it. If you guys want to, uh, show off what, what you think is right, you're like, oh, well, Prime Arena deserves to be an S tier, because Prime Arena is just that good. Like, <laughs> okay, you know, uh, making these tier lists is absolutely free. Just type in tier list maker and, you know, there you go. And you can, you can find whatever you want to rank right there. Um, but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe maybe if you if you haven't already uh and then leave a comment down below which starter pokemon is your favorite uh if you want to know mine uh it's pretty apparent no i'm kidding it's actually samurott i would put samurott in front of swampert samurott is my all-time most favorite starter pokemon